Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. So this week I have a little bit different. I have a story and I wanted to get your thoughts and opinions on it. But so about a week or so ago, I was hanging with a bunch of friends and one of my friends, everyone knows I knit, handed me a bag of yarn that she found from work, which is great. I always like getting more yarn, especially if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I like getting random bags of yarn and seeing what I get and kind of the randomness of it all, which is fun and I enjoy. Now, I got some very nice yarn, but the, what makes this interesting is the fact that, and different from other yarn unboxings before, is the fact that most of the, most if not all of the yarn that I got had no labels whatsoever on it. So I don't know where it came from, I don't know what company it is, I don't know what kind of it's made of which is okay, um, which I also enjoy. I kind of wanted to hear your thoughts about just getting random yarn, because if you like a yarn, usually with a label, you can go get more, or if you need it extra for a project, you can go get more. I don't mind it so much, but it's kind of an interesting, an added challenge to making something, because usually when you're making a new project, you can kind of plan ahead in terms of you know how much yardage you have, you know, you can buy accordingly, or even if you get yarn, you can, you know how much you have. With a lot, a lot of this yarn, it's kind of guesswork, which is, I enjoy a lot, because again, it's an added challenge. I wanna hear what you have to say about it, because I'm kind of interested from other knitters. If, if you get yarn from random people, A, because I know a lot of people around my friends and family just, Kind of any yarn they get just automatically goes to me which is fine and a lot sometimes there's no labels on them so i'm kind of have to take a guess and kind of go with it for different projects but like i said i got some good yarn i got some very colorful yarn in terms of kind of rainbowy colors which is nice i only have turns out i only have one ball of this or one skein um another yarn it seems like it's actually two yarn uh yarns together which is fine i turn i have to wound these all up into cakes like as you can see it turns out i have four five cakes of this so this is probably going to turn into another blanket um but again like i said before i have no labels so i don't know what it's made out of and so which is interesting and the last group of yarn that i got is actually this yarn kind of fancy yarn i got two big balls of it i'm actually almost done with it this is all i have left um, because I was making a blanket with it. So, this is kind of what I have. Ooh. Oh, it actually turned out a nice size lap blanket. Um, and this is what I was kind of getting at before, is because, like, I don't know. I'd like to use this yarn again. No idea where to get it from. Or what it, or to where to even begin. So... It's interesting, I like it. It's a good way of experimenting without having to buy more yarn. So anyway, let me know in the comments below how about your thoughts and feelings about total mystery yarn in terms of just randomly getting it from everyone. Anywho, I will see you next week. Again, let me know. Uh, bye.